The following segment is sponsored by Earth Fair. We are all in search for quality paired with convenience. And I think Lori Hicker from Earth Fair has finally cracked the code with her <laughs> snackle secret. Yes, quite the spread. Yeah, I were a good snackle box. <laughs> no kidding. So what is a snackle box? Yes, yeah, so a snackle box have really evolved from bento boxes, but on a much larger level. They're so much fun to make. There's so many different varieties, so many shapes. It's all about taste and texture and color. <laughs> So today we're going to show how to make a few different varieties, mm -hmm. starting with our charcuterie snackle box. Yeah. Now the charcuterie snackle box, I love filling it with olives from our olive bar. Mm -hmm. Again, you could get as much or as little as you'd like. So it's nice to play around with flavors. Yeah. Uh, we have some uh, teardrop peppers here, which is our, our Peruvian peppers. So they're not mm -hmm. spicy, super sweet. So they complement the cheese and the crackers very well. And then also, are you familiar with tinned fish, like sardines and oysters? Or they're actually making, I don't want to say a comeback, but they're trending okay. right now. You can um, come back. <laughs> I've not seen tinned fish look that cute. Yes, it's but very cute. I love the packaging, mm -hmm. but they have so many different flavors here. And I love adding tinned fish into the charcuterie pack. Nice. Um, and then you can fill the bottom with berries. Always add a nice jam or even honey. And you can even put a cooler pack on the bottom portion here if you want to keep everything cool. cool. So if you're going out in the heat, it'll, it'll uh, you know, up what stand to eat. Absolutely, especially yeah. if you do those little mini cocktails too, yes. keep them nice and fresh. Absolutely, and all the magic happens when you open this up. It looks so yeah. gorgeous, and they're so easy to put together. Yeah. It's very versatile. Talk about Instagrammable. It's yeah. definitely the big mama. This and for my some favorite. smaller, maybe more portable options, you got something for the kids too. Absolutely, so again, you can make them in all shapes and sizes. Yeah. I love making small ones, especially when it comes to movie night with the summer and the kids coming over and having sleepovers. These are great and I get, I, um, there's eight compartments here and you can actually take these dividers out. Oh, nice. You can make larger suctions like you see over here with our kids travel one, right? It's great for road trips. I love doing uh, peanut butter and jelly or, or ham and Swiss roll-ups. Yeah. Uh, we have mini mozzarella balls, a little bit of hummus, crackers, shortbread cookies and blueberries. Just think mini small foods. Yeah, those are great for, uh, <laughs> for road trips there. And then last but not least, when it comes to the smaller boxes, I love making the beer box or the brew snack oh, box. It's all salty snacks. So you have a little bit of cube cheese, some nuts, sausages, pretzels, the whole nine yards. You can make that and uh, have it for, for the man cave, for, right. for the game coming up. You make me want to just now eat from like from now on in proportion boxes. It's, it's so, much so, fun. Fun. so much fun to put together. Yeah. And then, you know, with the summer coming up, many of us will be going to the pool and hitting the beach. So you might be asking yourself, what are good foods to take? Again, that will hold up to the heat. So we made our beach day snap a lot here. So we have some nice wraps with uh, veggie and hummus. We have a beet hummus over here and it's made with garlic, lemon, uh, chickpea is in there as well. So it doesn't taste like beet. It actually tastes like, it tastes like a normal hummus, uh, but it has a fun color to it. And then we have our orzo pasta salad that we have right here in the Earth Fair kitchen. Anything that doesn't have uh, a mayo base to it would be ideal. So Good think tip. olive okay. oil. Um, and then, you know, of course, if you go to the beach, you don't want to bring utensils with you, right? Right. Well, spoons. So pick something hearty, such as crisp, crisp cucumber or a little bit of non dippers, and you can dip that right in the pasta salad or the hummus. So they act as the the utensils for you. That's right. So, um, so yeah, there there you have it. As you can see, many <laughs> different sizes, and you can use metal boxes and you can use plastic boxes. I love sticking with plastic simply because they're a little easier to wash and clean. Um, you can even put parchment paper on the bottom Perfect. if you don't want to get anything sticky. So lots of options out there. But again, this is um, this is the most fun I've had. I could put down. together recipes in a long time. My word. And it <laughs> says you need to think outside the box. With a box, uh, you take so many fun things here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Snackle your snackle. <laughs> snackle your snackle, no matter how savory or sweet. <laughs>